be there a lot more creativity in the way to do things. It's always good to be a friend, a very personal friend. Positive. I think positivity is very important. Um, that makes you a bit more resilient. I think a successful person is one who are true to everyone around. Give yourself space and an opportunity and a mentality to change. More than, more than often, we will feel that you want to give up. Yeah. Because things, things are not going away. To keep on going on and to achieve something that you really set your mind to. Hi there, and welcome to episode 5 of Values and Growth series. My name, of course, is Wayne, and it's my pleasure to be your host once again. Now, today, we are going to be talking about the very important topic of career change. What is career change all about, and how do you manage career change? With me today are two associates from Quest Associate. We have with us Alex and Teresa. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Uh, I'm a Quest Associate. I'm a financial consultant. Okay, so I'm um, same as so I'm same as Alex. I'm also a financial consultant. Um, I've been in, in the industry for about six years now. Now, no, today we are here to talk about um, career change and how do you manage career change. You know, starting with Alex, can you tell us what it was like uh, switching careers from what you previously did and what you're doing now at uh, Quest Associate? Previously, I was actually in the industry for about ten years. So I left to try out something uh, which is F&B, very different. Uh, I would say one of the reasons why I left is more fatigue, tired. You do the same thing over and over again. One day, you know, you run out of steam, so you want to try something new, something that you think is exciting. So after being out of the industry for the past three years, I realized that hey, my, my love is still back what I used to do. Yeah, so I chose to make the move to come back and uh, I really would say that's one of the best decisions I have learned in my life. No regrets coming back. I can definitely feel so much for your passion, Alex, for your industry. What about you, um, Charissa? Can you tell us what motivated you to make the change to what you're doing right now? Okay, so for me, I'm quite privileged to have the chance to have been working in the insurance industry since like I was 20, 21. But I started off really young because like I didn't know what to do. And by, just by chance, I stumbled onto this industry. So after that, it just went on years in, in doing corporate insurance, but I just don't have that kind of like satisfaction. I always feel that something is missing, you know, and then we are always like, there's no time to spend with your family, you know, we are always like busy doing this like 9 to 5, 9 to 5 kind of thing. So I think what really um, um, made me want to like come to insurance is because um, the way of life, the flexibility of time, the financial freedom that we possibly can get from this, and then the satisfaction you see on clients' faces, you know, when you deliver a check or claim, I think that that really like um, motivates me and Alex to actually priceless. Yeah, it's priceless. Right? Yeah. So Alex, you know, in Singapore, around the world, there's so many people right now seeking career change. What is your advice to people like that? What are some of the things they should look out for or prepare for? Of course, you need to know what you're getting into. You know, uh, you, you you cannot be a teacher if you are, if you don't like kids. You cannot be a lifeguard if you're scared of water. So in our industry, you need to meet people. So you need to be somebody who likes to meet people, who are comfortable talking to strangers, who are open to meet all kinds of people. You know, uh, you need to be somebody who likes to build relationship and grow the relationship with your friends or your clients. Uh, and a very important piece of advice that I would like to give to people is uh, don't worry too much. Okay, because if you worry too much, you cannot move forward. Teresa. What about you? What advice would you give to people who are seeking career change? Is there anything that they should think about or is there anything that you should look out for? I mean, I would say that um, if for those people seeking for a career change, um, they should, you know, ask as many questions as they want. I think asking is very important. Like, and also keep an open mind. I mean, I think what Alex has mentioned that um, in, in our industry, it's learning is, is constant. You have to keep learning and learning and learning. So if you don't have an open mind if like you think that oh because it's not about age you just have an open mind you'll be able to adapt to anything you'll be able to gain knowledge along the way learn from the mentors learn from your teammates so um, final words of advice I would say is that mm, do not be afraid of failure you know mm. rejection it's it's common you know but there's nothing to be afraid of because eventually 10 rejections you will get one you will get a yes eventually take the leap of faith and just step up because you will know that after you take that first step Anything else after that is, is all worth it. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much, Chuisa. I think you really, really made a very, very uh, good conclusion about how one can actually manage or even uh, seek career change. And to our 
viewers who are watching right now, I thought that was really a great way to conclude uh, today's episode. So just remember, if you are seeking change, have an open mind, ask a lot of questions, don't be afraid of failure, and remember to take that leap of faith to feel that conviction within you because at the end of it all, it will be worth it. Once again, of course, uh, my name is Wayne. Thank you so much, uh, Alex and uh, Teresa. And do stay tuned for our next episode, which will be the final episode, episode six of the Values and Growth series. Thank you.